Well, hey guys, we're gonna do a quick video tonight, um, changing things up a little bit this year. Been running the same tripods and pan heads for quite some time now. Uh, a company by the name of Tricer caught my eye and we've got some of their product here. We're gonna do a quick weight comparison and a few, uh, go over a few of the features. I'll do a follow-up video this fall. I like to really dive into what I like and dislike about stuff after I've actually had it in the field for, for a while. So this is kind of first initial impression, uh, but, but it is impressive. So first off, we're gonna be looking at the Tricer BC backcountry with the LP pan head. And it's gonna be kind of a straight up comparison with the kind of the stock uh, Sure VA5 pan head that I've been using, using for a long time here. So it's a good head, um, uh, decent, well, I'd say below average tripod. So, and then I've actually got a slick carbon fiber tripod with a slick ball head right there too that we'll do a quick weight comparison. So. Uh, just uh, weight comparison right here, and then we'll go over some features of the Tricer product that I like in this BC lineup. So starting with the smallest tripod that I've had here in the past, this is the Slick Pro 624CL uh, with a Slick ball head on it. This thing comes in at 2 pounds, 10.4 ounces. Um, honestly, I very rarely use this tripod. I have packed it around a little bit for kind of some B-roll, time-lapse type uh, camera setups, but it just hasn't been sturdy enough for me. So next up is what Bridger and I both carry in our backpacks uh, all the time. This is the Sure, it's the T004SK with the VA5 head on it. This comes in at 3.42. Three pounds, four ounces, and uh, again, it's been a good head. I don't have a lot of complaints with the head itself, but this tripod right here, both Bridger and I find ourselves uh, complaining about the stability of this tripod um, when it gets when you get glassing or spotting scopes on it. So again, here's the new Tricer BC. Uh, tripod with the Tricer LP pan head on it. This thing's coming in at one pound, 15.7 ounces. Um, amazing, amazingly light. I was blown away by how light this product was. The pan head itself, I've had my spotting scopes on it. I've had the binoculars on it and it's amazingly smooth but locks down super super tight now i'm going to extend the legs and show you one other thing that that just uh kind of tipped me over the top with this so as you can see the tricer bc um i think it's like 42 or 48 inches high fully extended so it is a sitting tripod but what i wanted to show you guys is next to the sure See how skinny the legs get as you extend everything down? See how fat the legs are? They've inverted these legs, so your, your thickest, most sturdy leg sections are at the bottom of the unit. But even here at the top of the unit, I mean, this is, this is no slouch up there either. So this thing's rock solid, guys. Normally when you compromise weight, you're losing stability um, and where I'm in the video world somewhat uh, it's just not something you can compromise right you got to have that stability but these guys have figured it out right here with the inverted legs so again that previous model was the Tricer BC that's my that's my hunting setup that's what I'm going to be taking on backpacking trips uh, this uh, these two setups right here are what I'll be using uh, filming like running my big cameras and all I'm I'm not carrying a weapon I'm just filming in September so uh, what's been my my go-to system for a while now is the slick pro CF 834 uh, we got a Manfrotto 
500 AH head on both these, same head on both these, exactly the same. So, uh, and then we've got the Tricer AD. This is their, their you know, full size large setup right here. So we'll put these on the scale. So the slick tripod setup with the Manfrotto 500 head comes in at five pounds, eight ounces. So this has been a very sturdy setup and Honestly, you can see I'm going to run both, both, I'm going to run this Manfrotto head on, on the other setup as well, but five pounds, eight ounces. So here we go. Here's the Tricer AD with the Manfrotto 500 head. We're at four pounds, four ounces. So uh, a pound and four ounces difference just in the tripod itself. Now I'll extend the legs and show you show you the same inverted leg pattern. So there again, the Tricer AD is on the left-hand side. The slick tripod's on the right. You can see legs get heavier, closer to the ground you get with the Tricer, and just the opposite with the slick. They get smaller and less sturdy the more extended out you are. You guys might've noticed that the that the slick did compact down when it was fully, you know, put away. Uh, there's there's four sections to the leg here versus three sections here. So um, I don't mind that a little bit less compactness because that thing's pretty much on my shoulder all day long while I'm walking around with the hunters that I'm filming. So. So again, this is, honestly, I haven't had them in the field too much. This is just my first impressions, getting them out of the box, looking at them with, with what I've been running. And I'm very excited to be running these here this September. We'll run them a fall and we'll do a follow-up video for you guys. But uh, in first impressions are great. Their binocular adapter is, is super slick as well. I didn't show that today, but we'll catch that on the next video as we do a more detailed, in-depth dive of the features of the tripod and the system that we're using. So uh, go from there.